Previously on Amy, the will bill. You come here, I think she's taken some crack. Taxi! No! No! Thank Do you. the right thing, Amy, no. I'll take you! No. Go! Driver said he'd found this. How bad is he hurt? I don't know. And he's bleeding. They were fighting. I tried to break it up. Yeah. Nah, I lost him. Right, get an ambulance. He's at his head. He's, he's unconscious. Zero three five five, over. Zero Yeah, we're at the War Memorial on Rudkin Road. We've got a young man with head injuries. Bring an ambulance, please, over. Excuse me, sir. Don't tell me what you saw. Was it a fight? Uh, there were three of them. Right, what were they doing? I don't know. He got hit. He banged his head. I've tried to break it up. Get a description. Oh, two whites, one black. They're all teenagers. Three five five and Sierra. Right. The name is a Mark Townsend. And your name is Sir uh... Richard Thornton. Why? Well, I'm sure he'll want to thank you. Hello. I'm Gary. You can call me Gaz if you want. Getting there. She had a rough night. The doctors had to bring her heartbeat right down to avoid a heart attack. For her age? Well, crack speeds the heart up. I think the come down was almost worse. When I came on, she was hallucinating and petrified. Must be horrible, that young, you know, not knowing why. Did she let her know who she was? No. She said she was five. That's all she would say. Probably all she could say, the state she was in. And did it, no one come in and ask after her? No. I think security got a video of whoever dropped her off, so I'm going to grab her still off it and use it to ask her. Right. Is she all right to talk? Yeah, subdued, but yeah. All right, I'll be back with a photo. Right. Did you get anything? Nothing. She just shooed me away. She'll let us know when they're through with him. Oh, just the man I wanted to see. With me. Excuse us. All right, yes. All right, all right. Look what I found. My driver's yeah. license. Guess where I got it? No idea. Cab driver found it in his car after coming here to drop a five year old girl off who ate some crap. No, that can't be right. He's made a mistake. He mentioned you all, mate. You, the woman, the kid. I mean, we don't even know who she is. Hey, what are you playing at, Nick? Hey? She's a five-year-old kid. All right, Gary, just... Ch -ch -ch. All right, I was with the woman. Yeah. yeah, I was. But I didn't know she had a daughter. I swear, I swear. The whole thing just blew up out of nowhere, and when it did, I was the one who made her bring her down here. Me, it was down to me. Then why run? Because I panicked. When she said it was crack, I just, uh, I just freaked out. So what about my licence? What about it? Well, you're not going to tell anyone, are you? Give me a lead on the woman. What's her name? What name what? Then we'll see. Uh, right, the, uh, the mother is called Amy and the girl is called Sophie. Amy and Sophie what? I don't know. She's a tart? No! I met her in a bar. She got a call on her mobile about the kid and the whole thing just went haywire. Where did he live? The park me, but... I... No, look, that was where we fetched her and the girl from. But look, you can't use any of this anyway, not if it came from me. Let me worry about what I can and can't use. Look, just don't drop me in this, please, girl. You dropped yourself in it, mate. What was that all about, Lord? Just need to do your temperature, darling. Won't come. Thank you. The nurse says you're five. Pretty grown-up five, as you know. 
someone told me your name's Sophie. Is that right? Sophie what? Do you know your mummy's name? Is it Amy? Is that her? So where do you live, Sophie? Hey, is it on the park, Mead? So what school do you go to, then? King Henry? Or Cheatham Road? Cheatham Road. Good girl. You see, that one too hard, was it? Hey? Nice one. All right, so tell me, what'd you find on the kid? What? In the evidence bag, in your top pocket. Oh, that, I think, it's Charlie. So what's the story? I'm booking it in, why? Well, you didn't mention it. Because I thought you saw me, and you did, which is just as well. So I'll charge Billy Riffs. Because your name's going in the book as my witness, all right? Hmm. Gary, what's happening with the little girl? Got a name in a primary school, Sarge. All right, we'll keep you posted. Back it up again. Amy. And the girl's called Sophie. She told you all this? And what school she goes to. Cheat and roll to there, I'll have her address and details. Is there anything else on the tape? Well, that's the best image. There's the cab they room, but I spoke to the driver and he said he picked him up at the side of the road. Right. One contact the school. Well done, mate. Hey, uh, you haven't seen Gary, have you? Yeah, he was in CSU a minute ago. He's around somewhere. There you are. I'm your organiser. So what happened? When? When you showed him the tape. Nothing. I showed him Amy, told him the names, and I said where the girl goes to school. Oh, right. How do you know all of this? Sophie, she confirmed it all. I can't find my organiser. I put it in my bag down here, and now it's gone. I think it's been nicked. Have well, you been serious? Well, someone's been nicking for a minute. Well, it was right there. Right, hang on a minute, girl. Hang on a minute. Oh, no, 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 no. My camera's gone, mate. That's it. Someone's gonna get chinned. Five hundred pounds worth of camera, this is. Yeah? My life was on that thing, mate. It's just took me months to type all my stuff in. Right, I ain't having this. Come on. Gary, can I have a word? Something's come up. Uh, what? Nick, do you mind? Uh, right, I'll wait for you. We'll do this together, yeah? The CCTV footage you showed Danny and Polly. I want to have a look at it. Um, any particular reason? Danny's given me the names of the people. There's a chance I might know them. Right. Do you know him then, Sarge? Yeah. She's my daughter. Her grand and granddad's. There was a little Wendy house out the back. Do you remember? It was red and yellow, and it had a a little serving hatch and plastic food. And there was a swing and slide as well. Blue. That's right. I bought that. I paid for that. Where's my mum? We're looking for a sweetheart. Is she at home? Where is home? I want my floppy cat. Well, I'll tell you what, Sophie. You tell us where you live, and I'll get your floppy cat. How's that? Is it a house or a flat? Flat. Where you live, Sophie? Is it just you and your mum or anyone else? My Uncle Dexter. Has Uncle Dexter got a job? He makes frogs. Have you any idea who it might be? 
Well, do you know anyone that saw these items? No, ma'am. Were they in your lockers? Oh, in my bag on the top. Yeah, mine too. I know it's a police station, but that's a bit relaxed. Yeah, well, look, it's never been a problem before. Look, what I want to know is, are we insured? And if so, do I get my 500 quid back? Is your personal property insured by the Met? I think you can guess the answer to that, Nick. <laughs> I'll look into it. Well, don't they bother you to think it's someone we're not? Yeah, well, maybe it isn't. Educate me. What I mean is, who's the unknown quantity around here? We you looking for you? Yeah, well, now you found me. Yeah, we've got a date at the hospital. Mark Townsend's about to get discharged. Bestie. No, man. It was that weird, eh? He's the one that hit me. So what were the teenagers doing? Well, I don't know. I was out for the count. We saw him having a go at the man you say hit you. Not having a go at him. He was having a go at us. Why? We were by the war memorial. He said we weren't allowed in, but it's public, innit? So tell me you were with these other guys? Kind of. All right, so who are they? Look, it's that other bloke you should be looking for, the one who hit me. He's a nutter. Look, do you want to make this official? Are you, are you going to prosecute? Of course I am. Hello, Perry. Come here. I'm going to search you because I've reason to believe you're in possession of drugs. Do you have anything sharp in your pockets? Get your hands out. Oh, dear. Do you know a girl called Amy lives in the flat you've just come out of? Well, here's the deal. You go back in there and you tell her discreetly that there's someone outside with news of her daughter. You do that for me and you get these back. Do you understand? You'd better. Because if you muck me about, I'll find you and I'll do you. Nick and Gary are the only losers so far. But the items were expensive, sir. I'd say we don't make a big thing about it. If he thinks it's easy, he might get reckless. He? He, she. We ought to set some kind of trap. Let me think about it. You said there were two things to tell me about. Yeah. The child who ingested crack. It turns out she was Matt Boyden's granddaughter. And what does Matt say about that? Not a lot. I mean, he's obviously very shocked. But I get the impression he gave up on the mother a while ago. Can we find her? Polly and Danny have gone to the child's school to get a home address. And where's Matt? He's at St Hughes, checking on his grandchild. Oh, no, get off of me! No, get off, I'll scream! Oh, what, your druggy friends are coming up here, I don't think so! Where are my drugs? Get lost! Give them to me! Get lost or get nicked! Where are you taking me? Ask me! Ask you what? Ask me how Sophie is. How is she then? No! She could have died! She nearly had a heart attack! And then she had 12 hours of hallucinations and paranoia, not knowing what was real and what wasn't! You've no idea what you've done, have you? Well, I tell you, you've killed it off. Every last book of responsibility I had for you. Oh, you're on your own now. I always was. Oh, poor you. I'll tell you something else. You're not a mother anymore. You don't go anywhere near her. <laughs> you vanish. Sophie goes into foster care and I apply for custody. You can't do that. You reckon? If I can find you, then my colleagues can. You get nicked, you get arrested for possession, and then you go to jail. I'll make sure of it, and Dexter will go down too. Now, you might lose, but you might not. One way or another, you don't get custody of Sophie. That's what I think of you. You don't have a daughter anymore. Neither do I. Mr Thornton, any news? Yeah, there is, actually. The boy's regained consciousness. It's going to be all right. Oh, that's great. He also says you hit him. Did you hit him, Mr Thornton? They had spray paint, you know, aerosol cans. Are they using them? Am I supposed to wait until they do? Well, you can't attack people for having an aerosol can. They've got no respect. Mr Thornton, did you hit the boy? I had to. Mr. Thornton, I'm afraid you're under arrest. Would you like to come with us, please? Move. You don't have to say anything. Where have you go? 
Jane. Your mother sees you in here with me. That's it. Now get out. No. I said out. I'm not going anywhere until you talk to me. Well, you've got to help me. I've got to do anything except keep out your way. Well, look, I helped you. I didn't tell the police about you and me. You and me never happened. That's official. Please help me. With what? Oh, I found these. I think this letter's from my dad. And look, there's a bloke in the university magazine with the same name. See? Well, show them to your mother. Get her to explain. I did. I told her, but she doesn't care. She's so wrapped up in herself. Look, please help me. I'm sorry, Carna. You better get out of here. No, look, if you don't help oh, me... Oh, what? You'll cause trouble. We've already been there. Nobody believes the words you say. Just have a look at them, please. You're the only one that can help I me. said no. Oi! Amy? Amy? Anyone home? sink for cooking up. Five years old and living in a crack house, eh? No wonder the school said she was quiet. I would be if I was living in all this. What are you doing? Well, it's her stuff. We might as well take it to her. Danny and Polly went to the home address and it turns out it's a crack house and it looked as though people had left in a hurry. Do you have any idea where Amy might be? I haven't got a clue. I haven't seen her since the last time I got her out of trouble. I said it would be the last time and I meant it. She needs help, Matt. Not from me, she doesn't. We don't have that kind of relationship. You're still her father. Sorry? Well, it's your job to help her. If I needed any guidance as a parent, I wouldn't be asking you. Oh, now, Can hang we on, get back Annie. on track here, please? Nobody tells me what my job as a parent is. Even if you've decided you can't help her, Matt, maybe we can. Maybe social services can. But we need to find her first. Yeah, but I don't know where she is. Well... That's just the case, then. Danny found it at her flat. Yeah, well... Thanks very much. Sophie was asking for that. You ought to be careful leaving your things lying around. Yeah, why? No, someone's been nicking stuff. Like my personal organiser. That's rough. Bad enough to get it out there, let alone here. Come, Mint. Yes. Danny? No, thanks, mate. Listen, guys, I'm out of here. Laters. Gary, Sergeant Murphy wants you in custody. Right. Yeah, well, like I said, better watch out. There's a thief about. Uh, just looked in CID, but I didn't see you. We've got a GBH downstairs in the bin. Okay, what happened? Teenage lad got punched and uh, smacked his head on the ground. The suspect says he's protecting the war memorial from being vandalised. Uh, Mark, the lad, says the suspect jumps at conclusions. All right, I'll get to it. Sergeant Murphy says, can you? Yes, I know. Do it yesterday. The war heroes named on the memorial laid down their lives for this country, and those yobs don't give a damn. They've got no respect. Go on. I look after it. You know, I keep an eye on it. But they thought I was some loser who worked for the council. What did the boys do? I started shouting, swearing, taunting me. Did you ask them to stop? Yes, then they showed me their spray cans. They were going to graffiti it. And what did you do? I saw red tried to stop them and take the paint away. Then what happened? I grabbed one of them and wouldn't let go. Why didn't any of the uniformed officers find this paint at the scene? 
Well, the other boys took it. So you hit one of them because they were winding you up? They were about to deface the memorial. Did you see? I stopped them before it happened. Can I bail him? Yeah, he's admitted it. Short fuse merchants, who needs them, eh? I think those kids really pressed his buttons. Come on, we all feel like giving them a slap from time to time, but we don't, do we? No, but he's only protecting what he cares about. Tell me face to face that you don't know nothing about what happened to my organizer. Uh, what are you talking about, Gary? Just tell me to me face. You can't, can you? I'm stunned. No, I'm shocked that you're even saying this. All right, Gary, I don't know what happened to your organizer. Yeah, well, if I find out otherwise. Yeah, well, I've just told you, haven't I? We've been acting well weird today. And I reckon it all goes back to that junkie, doesn't it? Hey? She got you nicking for her now? She ain't got me doing anything. I was the one who had a camera stolen. Is this what you think? That I'm capable of stealing from my friends? Well, before yesterday, I didn't think you were capable of running off from a little kid who'd eaten crap, did I? I was the one who got her to go to hospital. I was trying to do the right thing. This is me, Gary! All right, all right, you don't believe me, do you? Right, well, look, I'll tell you what. You've got my licence, why don't you go to Boydham? Because if you don't trust me, then let's do this all by the book, mate. It's one way or the other. I'm a thief and a liar, or I'm your mate. You decide. Well, if you are mixed up with her, then you better finish her, Nick, and dump her. She's no good. Thank you. And Sergeant Biden will rip your head off if he finds out, and I won't want that on my conscience. Boydham? Then you're not. No what, Gary? It's his daughter. She just ran out. Who's just run out? Well, Sophie's mother. We called 999. Well, what happened? She tried to take Sophie out of the ward. She's taking Sophie? No, she's still on the ward. <laughs> Get out of the window! Baby! Baby, come here! We're on Tubbs Lane. Tubbs Lane, on our way. Over. Blues, man. Come on! That's it. That's the car. Suspect is heading north on Elcott Gardens. Elcott Gardens. Over. I'm running south beyond Manly Road, over. Suspect has turned left onto... Tedder Street. Tedder Street, the big Tedder Street, over. Received, we've got him, over. Thank you. 
Now this is it. You're nicked. Where is he? I don't know. He vanished. What do you mean he vanished? Listen, mate, you're right behind him. Where could he go? Hey, don't have a go at me. You don't like it, you run faster. Right, Nats. Come on. Get on, please. Right, Cameron, let's get Peck out. Mate, we should write this up. Do it later. The sergeant's yeah. going to be like a bear with a sore head having to rest his own daughter. I'd rather be out. Sierra Oscar to any units near Canley High Road receiving. Over. See you when needed. Sierra Oscar from 140. Go ahead. There's a report of an ill or drunken IC1 female collapse in the Civic Centre. How near are you? You look near enough, see? I'll show you dealing. Have you seen my mobile? Can't find it anywhere. Well, where did you leave it? Well, if I knew that, I wouldn't be asking, would I? Well, have you tried ringing it? Uh, no. Well, give us the number and I'll try. Just look at that. I knew it. I just knew it. See? I told you, didn't I? When did this happen, Richard? When you locked me up. I mean, how could they do that? That memorial is sacred. Look what they've done to it. It's ringing. Well, up here it is and try again. What for? Look, if it's in this station, I'm going to find it. Try again. Sunday. Sorry. Hang on, Dan. Yeah, ring in again. You are. That's Dion Nixon's daughter. Right, you ain't staying here. Get up. Come on. Hey, Cameron. Yeah. Super wants to see you. Really? Yeah, as soon as you come in, which is now. All right, after I've done this. Yeah, make sure you do. Yeah, I said I would. Hey, Sarge, we've got a teenage drunk. We found her at the Civic Centre. Dion Nixon's daughter. Oh, Grace. I guess I better find the DI. Are you saying a visitor to the flat gave your daughter crack? No, she must have found it. I don't know, maybe she went in someone's bag. I don't know. Why don't you know? She's five. You're her mother. Why would people in the house have crack? I don't know. I'm saying they must have, because that's what she ate, yeah? Look, we've been to your flat, Amy. We found pipes. We found a kit for cooking rocks. It's a crack house. Now, I think your daughter regularly comes into contact with people who use crack. You're up to your neck in it. No. If you're sticking to your story that none of it's yours, then you're going to have to tell us who it does belong to. It's mine. What is? All of it. First of all, none of it's yours. Now all of it's yours. Come on, Amy, give us a story we can believe in. Is it right, Dan? His phone showed up. Uh, in a manner of speaking, Super's dealing with it. So what happened? Well, like I said, Superintendent Okoro's dealing with it. This is something else on your mind. I wanted some advice. Far away. If a serving officer gets involved with someone in the drug scene, I mean, kind of gets sucked into it, but it ain't their fault, what happens if they get caught? Well, that depends on what they've done. If they've broken the law, that's it. Career's ended. Don't know who we'll be talking about here. Uh, no, it's just a mate from Endon. He's serving somewhere else. Not someone from this station, not someone from both. No. no, look, forget it. It don't matter. I just thought I could help him, that's all. Gary, rule number one. He's got to want to help himself. That's not where I live. Well, it's your name on the Tennessee Agreement. I moved out. Why? I had to. Why did you have to? I owed some people some money, so they used the flat to pay it off. He used the flat as a crack house? Well, what he chose to do with it was up to him. Who are we talking about? Is he called Dexter? I can't tell you. Why not? <sighs> Why do you think? Is your debt a drug debt? Yeah, it was a drug debt. I went through a rough patch, but I cut down now. And it's better. Yeah, it's better. Was the man you owe money to, was that the man in the car with you? Was that Dexter? 
You got me for possession. I stick my hand up to that. That's the way out, yeah? But if I say I'm with him, I won't get rid of him, will I? I want to see my daughter. And I want bail. <laughs> yeah, well, that's not up to us. That's down to the custody sergeant to decide. And what risk you pose as an absconder? I'm not going anywhere. Not without Sophie. Is this your locker? Yeah. Will you open it, please? Why? Danny Glazer's lost his mobile phone. When he called his own number, it rang in there. That doesn't make sense. Open it. Take everything out, please. Is that Danny's? Shouldn't be. I know it shouldn't be. I'm asking if it is. It's, uh, it's not mine. It's, uh, it's the same model. It hasn't got the same numbers. I know what's happened. I've picked up the wrong phone. I was sitting next to Danny in the canteen. I've picked up his. He must have picked up mine. Danny hasn't got any other phone. That's why he was searching for his. That means my phone's been nicked then. Doesn't it, sir? You're in late. Yeah, we interviewed Amy and stayed on to do the paperwork. What excuses did she have this time? She says she's a victim of circumstance. Did you grass the fella up? No. But it's all his fault, right? Something like that. Well, what do you expect? She's an addict. No offence, Sarge. But she's not the first user I've interviewed. She wants bow. She wants to see Sophie. Well, of course she does, because she wants to snatch her and do a runner. But that's not going to happen. Here you go. Thanks. All right, Mash? Yeah. Listen, I was hoping I might be able to have a word with my daughter. What kind of word? I don't know. Try and find some common ground, I suppose. Please. Kids. Sarge? Just stop this. Don't stop around here! Wait! Hello! What is this? I want bail. I want to see my daughter, and I've been in here for hours. We need to verify your address. Oh, get on with it, then. You're doing the dirty for my old man. Well, I'll tell you what, I wish he'd curl up and die. This whole thing's a fit up, but he is not getting Sophie. Not now. Not ever! I am talking to you! Matt! Matt! If the super has given me the benefit of doubt, I don't see why you can't. I didn't say anything. You didn't have to, Pay. Hey. I am not a thief. And you should know things aren't always what they seem. Yeah, what's that supposed to mean? It means this afternoon, until I asked you, you didn't mention that you found the drugs on the boy with the head injury. Now, that could have looked a little bit funny, but I took your word. Where are you going? Book it in. You haven't done it. No, because I forgot. Abigail? Abigail? Sarge, there's uh, been a little bit of an oversight. Did you search this one when you found her? No. See, the uh, thing is, I found a, a wrap of cocaine on that boy at the War Memorial, and, well, I, I just forgot about it. Can I book it in, please? What do you mean, you forgot? Cameron, he was my witness, and he's uh, reminding me... Oh, she's not drunk. She's taking an overdose. Get an ambulance. Now! Contract the pills. You have to stay hooked up to that for the next 24 hours. God, you threw up. Well, you certainly got my attention. So, do you want to tell me what's going on? You know. 
leave me, Abby. I don't. Tell me about my dad. Oh. You didn't do this because of... Just tell me, Mum. You can't twist my arm like this, you know? It's, it's, it's not right. in here. How is she? She's drifting in and out of sleep. She's fine, apart from her liver. And what's wrong with that? Um, maybe nothing. Maybe she's damaged it. We won't know for a while. <sighs> Just goes on and on, doesn't it? Mm. It's not easy being a teenager, is it? <laughs> Sorry. No, 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 come on. You can't cry about your family. What can you cry about? She is so angry with me. Yeah, well, that's how you are, you know. As parents, we're always wrong. <sighs> She's angry with me because I won't tell her who her dad is. No. She was fine. It didn't really matter. Up until now, I, I, oh, I just don't understand. Well, who your dad is, I mean, that's, that's fundamental. That always matters. Maybe she wants to know now because she's ready to hear it. She'll never be ready. Well, sometimes there's never a right time. <sighs> Thanks for listening. Thanks, you do. No, I didn't know whether to bother you with this, but uh, Mark Townsend? Oh, yeah. When he was unconscious, uh, uniform searched him, and they found a wrap of cocaine. Did they? Well, that puts a new slant on things. Yeah, well, don't worry, I'll handle it. I've sent uniform out to bring him in. No, no. Um, Abby's asleep. I'll do the interview with you. You sure? Yes. The drugs aren't mine. Whose are they then? I was carrying them for someone. No, I don't even do drugs. What are the names of the other lads? I can't say. I'll drop the charges. What? Against that bloke, the one who hit me. I'll drop him. It doesn't work like that, Mark. I'll clean the memorial, then. You're oh, cool. It's a way out for Richard Thornton. Please. You're still arrested. These drugs could be sent for destruction instead of testing. That's a possibility. Well, what happens then? It goes away. Thank you. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. You have to withdraw that statement about the assault first. Nick. Here. That stunt with the cocaine you found on the boy. Sarge? I couldn't go into this earlier, but what is going on with you? Nothing's going on. I don't think you're firing on all cylinders. Look, I just forgot about it, all right? It's always if been you don't understand that forgetting to hand in Class A drugs is a serious matter, then you shouldn't be back at work. No, I do understand. I've given you the benefit of the doubt so far. But if it's more serious than that and you need help, and you come to us for help or treatment or whatever, then the job will back you up. Do you understand what I'm saying? Look, if you think I'm not... Nick, I don't want to hear it. The next time we have need for this kind of conversation, I'll be drunk testing you. So, is it coming off? Yeah. This deal works as long as you stay out of trouble. You get in trouble again anytime soon, then those drugs will be sent straight for testing. Do you understand? All right. 
So, are you happy with the outcome? Thank you. It was his idea, not mine. He's not a bad kid. Thank you for your power. Uh, no, it's all right. Um, and I hope you've learned your lesson, too. No, honestly, um, you're welcome, Mr. Thornton. So, um, are we finished for the night after this? Not quite. Will you drive me to St. Hughes? I've decided to take your advice. What do you want to know? It's Glenn Weston, my father. Where'd you get that from? I found a letter. What do you mean? I went in the attic. Where's the letter now? It's at school in my locker. I want it back, please. And then I found his name in your university magazine. Glenn Weston. He's someone I love so much. So is he my dad? No, he couldn't have children. <clears throat> okay. Then who is? Oh, I dreaded this moment. Um, look, I've thought about this for so long, Abby. I don't think it's going to help you. Yeah, because not knowing has been really helpful. Just tell me. I'm ashamed. I don't care. I need to know, and I'm just going to go and find out anyway. You know I can. Well, you can't. Yeah, I can, and you can't stop me. You can't. Because of what I'm going to tell you. When I found out I couldn't have a baby by the man that I wanted, I felt deceived and angry. So I ended it. And whether it's right or wrong, I, I decided that I was going to have my baby on my own. So, oh, I'm so not proud of what I'm going to say. I got myself dressed up. And I went out looking for a one-night stand. You are the much-loved result of that night. Abby, I can't tell you who your dad is. I don't know the first thing about him. Oh. I don't even know his name. He's a complete stranger. Oh, I'm sorry. So it's sorted then. 
Ja. Hvad siger Bea? Nå, det var det I bet you have. I want to thank you. For what? For waking me up. All right, I did get involved with Amy, and now I'm right up to my neck in it. I knew it. I knew it. No, 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 I don't mean I knew what she was doing, I swear. But I liked her, you know what I mean? And then all this stuff with her daughter, finding out about the whole crack side of things, man. Well, it's just, uh, I was a real smack in the face, mate. And then you saying the things that you said. Thinking I was some sort of... Well, that was the real wake-up call. So what are you going to do? I need to talk to him. No, no, no Gary, Gary, please. I need to tell her it's finished, that it's over. And it's up to her. If she wants to drop me in it, then I'll face the music. If she cuts me some slack... Lesson learned, no more walking around with... What, you think she's going to cover for you? Please, so I can find out, please. All right, thank you. You've got to get me out of here. I'll do that. What can you do for me? I don't know yet, but you just chill and be cool, please. They got me for possession. Can you do anything about that? Well, your daughter ain't crack, that's a fact you can't change. Plus, it's not my case, I can't get involved. You are involved, or you wouldn't be talking to me. Get me bail, then. I have told you I'm not the officer on the case. Use your imagination, Nick. I can't get bail, then I'm gone. You've got to help me, Nick. You've got to. What? Oh, what? Oh. I tell them about you. My friend in uniform. The one who's a crackhead. time on the bill. They run! No! Get him, Gary!